Alrighty-roo, everybody. Who's here today? Let me just get some tissue because it is so hot today. I am sweating bags. It's crazy. I like not to use the AC as much as possible. We use the AC when we're in the studio and we film because it's really hot. <laughs> so when there's like a uh, person on cams, person standing by, kind of like script supervisor kind of thing. And then uh, me, of course, doing the um, the audio. We we like to run the AC, but uh, I don't I don't like running AC in my own office because it's just it's, I think it's selfish <laughs> selfish to run the AC. I, I guess I should during lives, but otherwise I don't run it. I just sweat through it, drink a ton of tea and water. It's just you know better for the environment. So how's it going, everybody? We got the um, what are we doing? No, the A4, that's right, the Dasung A4. It is right off camera here, and I'm not going to say a thing about it until I see some people funneling into the show here today. Oh, here's my mom. Nice. Okay, well, you're first in the gates. Hello, Vancouver Island. Yes. Um, What is going on over there? It is hot as a, I don't know, a cauldron, I guess we can say. Uh, let me just check. Yo, well, I mean, obviously we're live because, well... People are coming in, slowly but surely, and we have, oh, 10 people. Where are you all? Come on. So, how's everyone doing today? Got a nice day on, well, depends on where you are, of course, but could be a nice day. Uh, don't forget to get your guys' raffle tickets in, seriously, because there's only a couple more days. There's actually only four more days. And uh, we're giving away a DPT, which looks exactly like this. So, yeah, we're um, much like what all those companies do, like Omaze and stuff like that. We have a raffle going right now where for $9.99, you can buy as many tickets as you want. And you get into the draw to win a um, DPT RP1, which is a crazy prize. Like, that is a crazy prize. Like, seriously, they're like $1,000 now. No joke. I'm going to let this get some more light on the situation. Oh, that's way better. Boom. Um... Hello, wow, look at this. Hello from Germany. Hello from Washington, D.C., which is the District of Columbia, everyone, which isn't technically a state. It's not one of the 50. It's in Virginia, right? Or is it in West Virginia? It's inside a state, but it's like its own little autonomous thing. Yeah. Unless it is one. No, it's not one of the... Okay, my mom's American. Mom, is D.C. one of the states? I don't think it is. It's not counted in the 50. Um, Mohammed Hamad, or... I don't know, based on where you are, Morocco, whatever, there's like a ch you guys use. I don't know, but it could be Muhammad. I don't know. Hello, Muhammad. We just say that in English. We need a Big Me Goody Reader 13.3. Brandon Lawrence, two first names. You are absolutely freaking right. We ran the numbers when we were talking about this whole situation. Do you know how much that would have been? A lot. <laughs> Way more. Yeah, okay, yeah, thank you, Mom. It's not a state. DC operates kind of like a state like when you address things to dc you can't just put it any willy-nilly surrounding um area with its own zip code to make sure you know to hope it gets sorted you have to write in the state section dc and actually some mailing services depending on where you're mailing and how you're mailing pr for puerto rico will be a state and then you address it as united states some will not allow that some want you to write the country as puerto rico anyways just split you know talking about stuff hello costa rica what's going on ad 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 that's uh, ad you can't say that there's three consonants and they're not good consonants like you know what i mean adson here hello costa rica costa rica i got something i grabbed from downstairs it's completely sealed i don't even know what it is someone must have taken off the label before i nabbed it but like legitimately Let's see what it is i do my little unboxing thing where i just grab stuff from receiving oh okay uh, someone ordered a Mitsubishi High Uni Digital Pen. This is a nice pen. Seriously. It's a really nice pen. It's made in Japan, too. It's made out of real wood. Uh, I'm going to have to ask if someone bought that for maybe inter-office use. Okay. Let's talk about the Dasung. Why is it even here? What are they doing? Seriously. This is a DPT, and it looks like this. You can see with the, let me catch some light right there, with the little uh, elongated oval circle at the top. This is a DPT digital, um, what do you call it? Digital paper system. Uh, bordering Maryland and, Maryland and Virginia. Thank you very much. 
Um, yeah. So what they did, Dasung bought the shells, did a 180 software degree, a 180 degree software swap, and slapped on an all new backing. And this is really nice because what they did was they actually used different colors. No one's done that. No one has done that except for Sony actually using the DPT RP1 B and W, which is black and white respectively, but they don't even make the black anymore, I think. So, Dasung makes colors. They make gray, white, black, powder pink, and powder blue. We got the powder pink here, and this is a nice color. It's almost like it's been sandblasted, you know? It's just really nice. Now, they did cheap out. I don't know why. They got their logo on the box, no logo on the pen, and a sticker on the device. Why would you do a sticker? Dasung is a massive, massive company. They could afford more than a Vistaprint sticker. I'm just going to say that. It's real. That's, that's honest. All right. What are we dealing with here? Now, this is not a matter of me being unprepared. I did not go through this head to toe. Why? I kind of want to see how intuitive it, it is to use with you guys on camera. Seriously, and that's not a cop-out excuse. It genuinely is. I wanted to see how kind of seamless this is going to be. So let's get a top-down going here like this. And I got my mouse and everything in the shot. Just clear some stuff in the background. All right. So uh, TCL Next Paper is nice for ebook reading. Kind of. Uh, my mom also said Puerto Rico is a Caribbean island. Yes, it is. And I think uh, Guam. You go to Guam and there's like the bay and coach and mcdonald's all over the place so it's just littered with you know north americanisms okay this is the dasung now i didn't again i didn't go through it head to toe i installed one app i put some stuff on the root storage and i didn't do anything else so let's see what it looks like and i did go to the app store and i was confused because there's only one two three four five six seven there's only seven apps and is that real there is actually only seven apps. Can I go back somewhere? Okay, there's seven apps. I downloaded File Manager because by default, this didn't have a file manager. And you need a file manager to browse the system because it, it doesn't have one, as you can see here. All documents is not your files. This is actually just pulled from the Fujitsu. This is, this is just the Fujitsu menu. So what they did is they basically took the Fujitsu menu and they broke it down um, into different things. So for example, if I go to Settings... If I go to settings, you know what? I think they need an update because sometimes you can use the pen on things that aren't notes and sometimes you can't, which is really weird. So you go to settings, that's all just Fujitsu. But when you go here to Wi-Fi settings, that's not anymore because you can't do this on a Fujitsu. Uh, on a, uh, uh, a Fujitsu. You need the app. You can't scan for Wi-Fi and enter Wi-Fi. It's You need to go through the app, much like the Sony DPT. So certain things are kind of pulled from different things i've never seen this before um i've seen that top batch from fujitsu but all this other stuff down below seems to be like stuff they added themselves clear the downloaded directory and third-party installation like they they added all this i've never seen this before brandon lawrence says when uh, when will gallery plus make it to an e-reader commercially available we have no idea gallery and spectra have not been used in any official retail available capacity just concepts prototypes uh, showcases at like you know trade shows nothing except e just regular e ink regular e ink e paper has been um what do you call marketed to people everything else no uh you do have bluetooth you do have nfc and you do have wi-fi access points all that kind of fun stuff so it does give you everything that sony and the fujitsu have so that's great although something very questionable is the nfc logo is gone. There used to be a little square that said NFC on there, and uh, it's actually gone. And we'll we'll find all this out when we do the review. But for now, we don't know that that's there. So uh, I'm just gonna keep blabbering on until you guys say I want to see notes, I want to see books, etc. So what I'm gonna do is open up this because I haven't opened it yet. I've honestly not, never opened this yet because I wanted to see if it actually does work properly. So if I go to the file storage, I will see. Okay, yeah, so it does. Very nice. So I have internal storage right here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so it's got the baseball PDF. Oh, and it's got Aldico. Can we sideload in apps? Does it have a package installer on board? I'm going to see here. Couldn't install because the certificate could not be read. Okay, so far, so far, 
It doesn't seem like it has an onboard package installer, but no, it doesn't. Okay, that's very interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, someone just said, uh, Chineando, Chineando, I bought it in China. I haven't been able to write on top of PDFs as it shows in their ad. Let's check it out for you there, man. Let's go open our baseball PDF. All right. Never done this. Seriously. Here we go. Hey, the heck? Okay. Now, granted, this is just the stock PDF reader. This might just be a PDF reader, uh, Chineando. Let's check it out here. So let's go to the app store right here. Dang it, I got to use my finger. That's, they haven't thought of that yet. One of these, probably co-reader, is going to be able to open PDFs and allow you to take notes. But will it be refined? I don't know. Let's do a download. So we have Microsoft Edge as a um, browser. That's fine, I suppose. You know what? Honestly, this has a lot of good stuff. For for the seven it actually has, um, it does have decent apps. I mean, We Read is good. It's a WeChat integrated reading app. Uh, I've never heard of Udic. I don't know what that is. It might be translated translation thing. Uh, File Manager is good. Edge is good. Kindle is good. Dewey Can Re Reader. Um, sorry, Duocon Reader is a. Uh, I've seen that logo. It's on a lot of the um, uh, Zalmi stuff. I think the Ink Palm comes with that. And Co Reader is good. So. Yeah, a lot of these are actually pretty good. Let's see. Chiniando. Okay, so it looks like Chiniando here has more experience than I do with this. And you cannot install more apps than the ones in their store. They confirm this through the Taobao chat in their store. Okay. Chiniando, you're probably right, but there will probably be a way we can figure this out. I don't want to toot our own horns, but we are kind of DPT experts. Um, we are the only company that has uh, the Sony DPT remote access for sale where we can actually unlock your device and add Google Play. That's not a pitch. It's an actual thing, and it's a pitch. And we can do that with the Fujitsu as well. We have a um, collaboration with Fujitsu, and uh, we have been able to put, as you can see from our YouTube channel, with a very high version of Android, we can put um, Google Play on a Quaderno, which... Uh, has been probably the best thing to happen to the Quaderno and um, really shifted the whole meta around Quaderno from people not even buying the regular one anymore. They're buying the, the Google Play one. Um, Ismail Ray says, seems limited. Ismail Ray, I'm going to go back on camera so I can speak to you personally. Every DPT is limited. You are completely right. The CP1, the DP1, both the Quadernos, the Paper, the Quirk Logic, the Alteric Note, the Dasung, they're all limited. They're all limited. They're not supposed to be unlimited like a, an onyx like a big me like a boy you that's not what they're for what are they for this i'm i'm being serious with you guys this this is the only thing they're for six year no eight years running no joke this is still the greatest writing experience period i have no reason to say that other than it just to be true this is the greatest writing experience like that blocky font. There is no greater writing experience. Do you need to charge the pen? Yes. This one you do. Do the nibs wear down pretty quickly? Yes. But man, is it good. I'm not even joking, man. They don't make plastic screens anymore. Plastic screens versus glass. There's only the remarkable one, the Mimas. Um... Uh, the, the the DPT. Let's call it DPT because the DPT includes the paper, the Quaderno, the Sony, uh, the Alteric Note, and this one, the Dasung A4. So DPT. Glass is everybody else. So that's Onyx, Boyu, MeBook, uh, Big Me, the oh, um, yeah, everyone else basically. There's so limited plastic ones because that's gone. That's discontinued. Mimas is discontinued. Oh, I think they may have a small stockpile of this. Kind of, it's come back, but it's it's like a 2018 unit. So, yeah. And the DPT, the paper is... Eh, the software is really good on the paper, but the actual unit itself, they didn't do anything to it. The Quaderno... Um, the thing about the Quaderno, why you want to buy that one, legitimately, over these other guys, is because, yeah, the, the, the Dasung is using the first gen sony so don't buy that one the alteric note is using we don't know yet because it's not quite available so don't buy that one the paper is using the first gen so don't buy that one 
the Sony is using the first gen. So don't buy that one. And why I say first gen is because of this. It has the first gen. Oh, let's go to a new page here. Oh, I actually don't know how. I've never done this yet. None of that helps me. Cut, home, go back. Wait, can I not make a new page? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm in landscape mode. Okay, so they carried over the palette from... Oh, that looks better on camera. They carried over the palette from the um, the Quaderno. Okay. Insert new page. Oh, oh, I'm in blank landscape, genius. Jeez, man. Okay, so the DPT has the first gen and the second gen. The first gen being Sony, Alteric Note. Uh, actually, I don't know. Oh, why am I doing that? I have a freaking digital pen here. Um, I don't know if the Sony does. Uh, A4, paper. Uh, sorry, the Alteric Note. Alteric Note may have second gen. Quad has... Uh, there's a lot. As you can see, guys, there's five players using this. It's insane. Ismail, you are correct. You are absolutely correct. The Remarkable is limited, focusing on writing feel, but... I don't care what those fancy 8K advertisement campaigns say. The Remarkable 2 does not feel like writing on paper. This is not a dig at Remarkable. I love the Remarkable. I think it's great. It's a nice unit. They sold a lot of them. It's it's Remarkable. And it's very influential in the world of eNotes. But it doesn't feel like paper. It doesn't. you got to get the ones that are actual plastic. And to a lesser extent, if you wanted something that is... Uh, a, oh, where am I going? Cheaper, you can actually get plastic screen... You can get the um, King Jim, Freno, or you can get the Moby Scribe. These are both 6.8, but they're plastic. So keep that in mind. All right. So as you can see, there's a lot of players in the game using the DPT shells. No Companies can't seem to let this die. It, it's, it's real, man. This has come out in 2018. No, it didn't. No, 2016 in Japan. That's right. 2017... In North America and 2016 in Japan, the DPT uh, early on RP1 uh, RP1 was um, made in Japan actually, and these ones subsequently are China. So it came out a long time ago. The S1 came out in 2013, 2014, as you can see from our Sony video we did. Eight years on, six years on, sorry, and companies are still adopting it. This guy just came out, the Alteric Note, you can see on our YouTube channel. Uh, Chineando says, the device comes without setting up a time, date, or input keyboard. You're right, this thing just opened right up. Uh, I don't know what, oh yeah, well, uh, if you open the edge and try to URL, say blah, blah, blah. Yes, wow, you're, you, wow, you do know this thing, man. Yeah, what you have to do, uh, as I figured out, which you probably already did, is when you turn this on, it's going to say like, you know, the keyboard has crashed. And I, I experienced that too. I couldn't even type in my Wi-Fi. So what I did is I went to keyboard, went to here, and I went back to only alphanumeric, and that kind of reset the keyboard. So um, then it works. Uh, Demos 15, the Supernote has a plastic screen too. That is actually incorrect. The Supernote uses a glass screen on the A five and a plastic screen on the a6 but they're both covered with a silicone gel so you're not your pen tip doesn't even touch plastic on the supernote at all and supernote is the only company that uses a gel layer for writing they claim it has a good writing feel but it, it doesn't it just feels sticky like you're writing on a a vinyl surface it's not very good anymore it was kind of good 2018 but as things progressed and technology progressed too and the tip technology progressed and quaderno came out with the second gen it's just supernote's been left in the dust on every measurable metric again not a dig at supernote i think supernote had a great idea but they're long in the tooth they're played out they're four years old now they haven't updated their stuff yeah yeah demos you are correct though the the layer of the unit itself like this yes is plastic but then they put a gel layer on top as well so your pen is actually touching the gel layer and it's not touching anything else so really the experience is only going to be as good as the actual tip that is touching the surface and this cannot be more graphite on plastic and that is the golden combination not plastic on glass not glass on, uh, not plastic on plastic graphite nibs that wear down like crazy look at that it's all stumped 
But man, if you're looking for writing feel, again, Ismail said, limited, you're correct. If you're looking for writing feel, there is no comparison. There actually isn't. And that's why I'm saying here, the Quaderno is the one to get, not the A4, not the one today, because they're using a second gen shell, which means you can use any pen you want, like this beautiful, I just tested it, did you see? Because I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, maybe it had Wacom, no. Um, this is a great pen. This is one of the greatest pens, like top three. This is the Onyx Books Note slash Nova Air first gen pen with the conical air nibs absolutely great i wish i could use it on this i wish i could use it it doesn't have wacom though which is why you want the quaderno 2 because the quaderno second gen which is the a4 a5 that uses wacom i think the alteric note uses wacom because i think they had a wacom pen in their um in their advertisement thing when they sent it to us uh that's the one you want the, the quaderno there's all five of these guys sony uh dasung paper i you know what i don't even know what dasung's doing here dasung is a great company they make the fastest refreshing devices period the only competitor to the speed of a dasung outside of a mirror monitor because they're pretty much the same a blanket across the board in terms of the actual manufacturer the only competitor that dasung has for refresh is hisense but hisense ain't doing the refresh that Dasung's doing on these big screens, 25 inch monitors, 13 inch monitors. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with this device. It doesn't suit their business model. It really, really doesn't. It's, it's, it's strange, man. It's like you go to a French bakery that has nothing but macarons and you just see like a, a chocolate chip cookie for like 73 cents. It's like, what is that doing here? <laughs> and I'm not saying it's the price thing. It's just that it's not fitting. The Dasung line, if we go back here, Dasung has a uh, new page. Dasung has monitors. In fact, they got the Dasung 1, the 2, the 3, the paper-like Pro, and they got the 25-inch monitor. And then they have the units themselves. Let's call them units because we don't know what they are, basically. They got the 10.3-inch knot reader. And they got the 7.8 inch knot reader. None of these are note taking. All of these are backlit for the most part. I think there's a, a line here because they did glow light, but you know what I mean. Everything in their current lineup has glow light. Everything in their current lineup boasts speed and refresh and usability and functionality. And then, like Ismail said, right here in the corner, oh, hey guys, there's the A4. I, I don't know what they're doing with this. Is the DPT a great unit? Yes. This unit, the physical shell, is one of the greatest things in e-paper. If you don't believe me, ask the five manufacturers and the millions of dollars in R&D and software and development and logistics that are being poured into keeping this unit alive and well. Trade shows, bringing this and hoping people will buy it other OEMs taking on these shells and making more of them for the masses. Every corner of the world from China to Taiwan to Japan to Canada is picking up these units. They can't let it die. It's that good. But, but for Dasung to come out of the woodworks and be like, hey, we're going to make a DPT. It's like, okay, one, I mean, I'm in the business, so I can say nobody asked for that. I, I don't, nobody asked for that from you. You're a good company and you should do what you're doing already. And it's not like you even release this and you're being competitive with the price. It's expensive. So you're not even, you're not even, you don't even have that. Two, your keyboard crashed and your app store has seven apps and you can't write on PDFs, everything you guys have already pointed out. You didn't do anything to the software. You took most of the Fujitsu software and just added lines Sure, I'll extend an olive branch and say that you guys added the ability to use Wi-Fi without the use of a computer, but the Quirk Logic paper already did that, so that's not breaking any ground. What are you doing with this unit is my question. We love Dasung. We talk to Dasung. We, they probably watch this. We're not taking a dig at Dasung. We I think the world of those guys and the stuff they've sent us and the reviews, and the, it's a good business collaboration, but this doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It makes as little sense as Kobo releasing the Nia. 
what was that? What was that? Everything made in Taiwan, everything made in Taiwan, everything high quality. Suddenly this thing over here that was just this absolutely disaster made in China, completely uncharacteristic of the brand. And then they go back and they make good stuff. So it's like, what, what was that you just did there? This is one of those things. This is one of those things. It's like when Barnes & Noble made that Nook Glow Light Plus, I think 2015, it looked like a bar of soap. It was gold on white with like shower tiles on the front. It, all right. I mean, companies make weird decisions and this is just one of theirs. It's a weird decision. It doesn't fit their lineup. It's weird. Uh, the, the, it's all over the place. It's all over the place. Like I said, the, the unit has a sticker on the back. The NFC logo has gone. I don't know if it's using it. A lot of things are crashing. The pen is just a quirk logic pen because they just bought the pen and they didn't put a logo, but they put a ton of logoing on the box. How are you able to put a logo on the box, but not here? And it's not like Dazzling's hurting for money. They make the most expensive expensive units as a company if you r r tally up every one of their SKUs, which is like the the things they sell and you've got a total of just msrp these guys would be in the tens of thousands because or 10 grand maybe I expensive uh, the 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 the, the 10.3 knot readers is like 900 dollars. is 600 dollars. this is like three grand 2500 bucks jeez man but anyways uh chad i hope they're updating this because this is not ready this is not ready for anything this is their home menu like I'm, I'm pushing home like this is their home menu give me a bar give me an element they gave me a little semicircle here that does some stuff very akin to the floating ball but give me something something but yeah chiniando the writing experience is the best and that's something I'll stand by until someone proves me wrong. But it's the best. I've touched every stylus in the game. I know the tips. I know who makes the tips. I know Stadler. We we I've I've met the guys of Stadler. I got their cards for the managing directors of Stadler and Mitsubishi. Just sent us a freaking pen today, I guess. Uh, I've talked to Mitsubishi, uh, the pen co corporation. Um, I've uh, Pilot has sent us uh, you know private invites to look at their stuff that they didn't even release yet. We know all the pens, and I know all the pens, the tips, the compo the compositions. They told us everything. Nothing's as good as this. Uh, there's stuff that comes close. And again, we're nitpicking. If you just grab a Remarkable pen on a Remarkable, you're probably like, well, Radical. And yeah, you'd be right. It feels good. But if you're talking about the best and you want to ask the experts on what the best is, it's this one. And that's not really um, Dasung's doing because this isn't Dasung. This is just like the old Sony pen. And this isn't Dasung. That's just the old Sony device. So that credit goes to Sony DPT and its manufacturers back in the day. Another reason this doesn't make sense is because look at the pen. It has a magnetic snap with a little lapel punch out, right? Well, they, they got rid of that when they swapped the backs. So sure, they swapped the backs, but your $129 pen... Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stick to the side anymore thank you for swapping out the backs that was a breath of fresh air that the dpt line needed seriously quaderno did but they actually reduced the stylistic properties of the back if you look at the quaderno at the back oh jeez. all right here uh all notes if you look at the quaderno shell at the back it just looks like this that's it Sony had this beautiful, like, beveled design. Beveled means like it's it's like inlay, and there's a there's the there's like this little slant. That was awesome. Quaderno actually went a step back and got rid of all that. So for Dasung to come back and do different colors like powder blue, sky blue, that's awesome. I thank you for that. But this is just not making sense. I it's not making sense. I'm not sure what they... And they, they took a... Oh, no, that's right. The first... Okay, wait. Yeah, that was weird then. No, I'm going to correct myself. They went as far as to replace the backings, but didn't do anything to the USB. It's USB micro. And Quaderno is using USB-C with Wacom and a different back. But the Logic paper is not using a different back, and it's using the Sony stuff with micro... So where'd you get the backs? You designed these backs. 
They tooled them. I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. I really don't. And a lot of people have been asking me, which is why we're doing this live for the most part. I'm glad it won today. Is because we don't really know what their directional choice was with this. And when it came out, this came out in April. And it's August now. It barely got out in time because of all the delays and the manufacturing and, you know, the all the issues and everything like that. But it's just, it's so weird to just have this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Is it good? Yeah. Is it great? Eh, not really. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Decaptain. I want to see more e-readers adopt physical buttons and drop the touchscreen. No, no, never. That's a bad idea. I'm sorry, but that is a bad idea. I understand what you're talking about, but no. Pocketbook did that with the basic four. People were up in arms, man. Why would you drop a touchscreen? Look at the y Ben. thing is $100 and they don't have a touchscreen. The basic four, and you know what? This is actually funny. Uh, a lot of to do what uh, with pocketbook discontinuing the basic four was because it didn't have a touchscreen. There was so if you if someone ever hands you a device like hey look at this first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna touch it. I almost guarantee that. Oh, and you're gonna realize oh it doesn't have one. Okay, I have to use uh, on-screen controls. Okay, there's the cursor. Oh wait, oh there's the buttons on. No, y you need a touchscreen. I understand what you're getting at. It's more of a raw feel. It's more of like get back to basics. Not gonna work, and it won't work. I guarantee that. JD Prunet. They can still have touch if they give a capacitive touch layer and go back to infrared sensors on bezels. You can do that too. Chad Feeney, do you think Dazzle will be updating it? Friggin' hope so. To Captain, that then. It looks incredible. Yeah. Chad, or maybe partner with another company since they're display specialists. That would be that would be great. That'd be such a good idea. Demos, the first quadrant probably has better contrast because it doesn't have a Wacom layer. Yes and no. Um, does it have better contrast? We have gotten like, you know, micro, uh, macro lenses and we could not see any discernible difference in terms of the screen being, um, uh, what do you call it, different between the Sony and the Quaderno. And no, in fact, the second gen Quaderno actually looks better than the first gen Quaderno. The first gen Quaderno and the Sony look identical. The second gen Quaderno looks better. And that's because even though this doesn't have a Wacom layer. It still has a digitizing layer to work with this, which is a proprietary communication between these two. Still has a layer of digitizing. It has something to digitize the physical into the digital. So it's still there. There's still ob obstructions in, in place. So you're right. You're right. You're right and wrong, and I'm right and wrong. We're all just, there's give and takes to everything. Chiniando, I feel the writing experience is amazing. It is, period. Stephen Prosser, I'm going to do this. It ain't no big me goody reader in ink no color, that's for sure. No, um, this feels way better than the goody reader big me ink no color. It's a real writing experience. Courtney Bowman, haha, <laughs> Stephen, right? Uh, my mom says, will they be updating it? I'm going to get on the horn with them right away and get them to update this because this is like not ready to go, I feel. Brandon Lawrence, agreed. Wait, agreed with what would you say? Mm, let me look up there i can't see it all right thank you guys so much um we're gonna try to get this refined a little bit before we do a review i kind of feel like it's not ready for a review if like they were asking my official opinion uh we're dealing with another company that uh, i can't say anything but they sent us a sample and we had a zoom meeting and they're like is it ready and i'm like no nah. and I i'm not being not be rude it's just when you have devices like onyx basically onyx has ruined everything for everyone <laughs> onyx has shown that and i'm it's gonna sound like a commercial it will but it's like you know fully loaded at an affordable price point or like a price you can afford or features feel good when they're at a price point you can pay for it's true like honestly they're compared to the uh the competition typically they're competitive and they just do everything and onyx updates so quick that they're like oh remarkable has layers we'll put layers and then once they did that kind of killed remarkable it really did yeah it was like remarkable had layers and was like oh yo man that's crazy and then onyx was like we just put layers and we have more layers and they're like oh okay well well remarkable oh but there's oh i have to pay for my credit card subscription on a on a remarkable every month that's right and it's like 
well, you don't have to do anything on Onyx. You can use Google Play. And it's like, oh. So as time went on is what I'm saying is that a, a lot of these players dropped off. Supernote dropped off. Remarkable dropped off. They, they're just removing things from their lineup. They're, they're un unnecessarily charging more money. They're underperforming. And it's again, it's not us being personal attacking any companies. This is just an objective look that as technology improves, as people are putting more features... The, 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 the Big Me Goody Reader collaboration, we have everything on it. The Onyx Max Lumi 1 was stacked to the nose with, a, with an HDMI cable. You understand that you don't even need to buy the monitors. You just buy the Lumi, and it's an HDMI monitor and a Google Play audio player with an X mode. It's stupid not to consider ever buying that. Just buy that, and you have everything. You know what I mean? It's like that. And as technology expands and you see remarkable it's like oh we're gonna charge people on their credit card it's like it's not good oh and we're gonna discontinue the remarkable one it's like that's that's bad oh and the the marker signature stylus one of the best styluses ever is gone it's like okay and super notes like yeah we're not gonna do anything on our second gen we're gonna do the exact same thing and add an x it's like wait so a5x yeah and it's like did you change anything no and it's like, okay, well, did you add a glow light? Nah. Oh, you, oh, I know. You put audio on it. Nah. And it's like, okay. So anyways, <laughs> it's true. It, got to keep up with the times. We keep up with the times. They got to keep up with the times. Can't rehash the old thing. Look what happened with uh, the Oasis. The Oasis is a no thought now because they haven't changed it since 2018. Because 2019 was the Oasis 3 and all it has was warm light and like a pink color for some markets. So it's just like, okay, well, let's move on. Granted, Amazon's like a trillion dollar company, so they're immune to that. But you know what I mean. Life moves on. We got to move on with it. And we got to move on from this live because we're all done for today. Uh, yes, my mom is correct. You have to have touch. You you, you do. You have to have um, a touch screen. Ismail Ray, the SAS, you are correct. But everything I'm saying is completely objective and true. It is. We deal with 39 different manufacturers in the game. Manufacturers a lot of you guys haven't even heard of, and that's nothing negative. I'm just saying. It's that many. We've got Y-Ben. We've got King Jim. We've got the Pamera under our belt. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff. And if you don't play ball, and we know that a lot of our manu our, our distributors uh, listen to this, and it's true. you got to play ball. you got to keep up. you gotta you got to see what other people are doing. You really do. Seriously. Uh, Chini Ando says the problem that they show their picture in their ads like Reddit, Facebook, and it's a lie. You cannot install them. You can't advertise. You can write on PDFs. That's also a lie. Yeah. Chini Ando, that's, that's super freaking true. Um, a lot of companies lie. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to say it remarkable. Again, I hate saying it, but they're, I, I, all of you have seen it on your Facebook roles, uh, feeds. And every time you go to, uh, YouTube, you see their ads, and it's like the only tablet that feels like writing on paper. That's super not true, because a lot of the screen technology and the actual anti-glare sealant they use on top from factory is the same as other manufacturers. In fact, they share the same Wacom pens, and they share the same tips, and they share the same uh, e-ink screens, and it's not like writing on paper. So you have this multi-million dollar ad campaign, which most of your money goes to advertisements, because none of it goes to refining the device because it's just the same thing for the past X amount of years. And you say it's like writing on paper and it's not at all. It's like writing on a piece of glass with a little bit of sandpaper on top. It's not like writing on paper. I'm sorry, but it's true. This is like writing on a piece of white paper, like you printer paper. And that's what you want. You want the simulation of writing on paper. Um, Chiniando, you can only read PDFs with a pen on notepads. Yeah, um, we're going to get down to it, Chiniando. I, I very very much appreciate Ismail. I appreciate all of you. And we always do. Courtney, my mom, Dismos. But uh, JD, uh, who said it? Uh, Chiniando and Ismail Ray have been um, pushing some good stuff today. Very much. Uh, and Chad, uh, thank you very much because um, we're going to look into this. We're going to ask them. You can't show that you can write on PDFs and you just not let people do it. The Sony DPT made in 2016 will allow you to um, write on PDFs right out of the gates. And that's the point. It's a PDF reader. So, yeah, uh, we're going to get to this. We're going to get to all of your questions. Do a review. We're not doing a review right now because you're not ready for the big game. We're all done, everyone. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chinando. Hope I'm saying your name right. My mom, Brandon, Ismail, Stephen, Courtney. 
Uh, who else we got here? Uh, Temic. Hmm? T- oh, Temiz. Temiz Tick. JD Purnett. Always nice to see you. Advon's here. Advon is here. I don't know. Muhammad Ismail said that. Thank you guys so much. Till the next one. Have a good day. Putting this away for now. Whoa! No, I didn't throw it. I would never throw that. I don't throw electronic devices. It's pretty funny, though. Uh, yeah, any word when a Remarkable 3 would be released? I don't know. Wacom, Backlight, Audio, Android. I don't care what you say. You need those. Oh, but you can do Linux. No, you gotta have Android. Oh, but no, really. No. <laughs> Android. I-, I have nothing to do with Android. And it's true. Ask people who want to buy your thing. Does it have Google Play? No. Oh. Can you install apps? Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then you get the four percenters. Oh, I like Linux. It's distraction free. Give. G- stop it. <laughs> stop it. Everything's distraction free. Go into the settings. Turn everything off. Distraction free. I can have a distraction free Lumi too. And I still have all the stuff a Lumi's gonna give me. Anyways. Thanks, guys. See ya.